Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number 7. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Dynamic Chart Series. Hey, in trick number 7, we want to see how to use a formula to uh, get data and dynamically and then create a chart. We're going to use the sum ifs function with an S, we're going to have two criteria. And the idea is we have our data set, we'll make our formulas, and when we change the formula inputs, the formulas will update and then the chart link to it will update. Let's go ahead and uh, first thing we need is I want to build our chart with sales rep. So I like want the sales rep names here. How do I get the a unique list from a data set? By the way, this is like 2,000 rows if I control down arrow. So lots of transactional data for one year. To get a unique list, I'm going to click on the field name and then control shift down arrow. Now I'm going to use advanced filter. In uh, earlier versions it was alt DFA. In this version it's alt AQ. This is 2007 or 10. Now I already did this before and it's got this ghost. It's remembering that I extracted the product data. I don't want that right now so it's highlighted. I'm going to click in the sales rep and then control shift down arrow. Criteria range, actually we need to extract this to another location. We do not want to filter this in place because we want our little uh, list so we can build our formula based on it. No criteria range because we're going to check this one, unique records only. I'm going to click in the copy to and then scroll all the way up. Let's say we put it right here and then click OK, Zoop, just like that. Now what I would like to do is we're going to have two criteria. I'm going to move this down here. I also want product. Copy. I'm going to put uh, say right here. Now what I want is I want data validation drop down because I want all of the sales rep in the chart but when I, I want to be able to select a uh, product and have the chart update and show that product. Um, let's do the same thing again because to do data validation I want to see a unique list. So I'm going to do Alt AQ. Remember it, it uh, is guessing wrong so I'm going to with that selected click in product, control shift down arrow. Be sure when you do advanced filter unique records you have the field name. If you don't it will give you two of one of the elements. All right, Copy to another location. Our criteria range, no we don't need that. We're doing unique records only. It also is remembering uh, this extract area, which we don't want, so I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to uh, put it right here. Click OK. And just like that, we have our products. Notice it always extracts the, uh, the field name, so actually I didn't need that there. Now I'm going to move this over here just a little bit because that will be our source for data validation. Now I'm going to copy this and I did want this right here. I want to do data validation right here. So Alt DL. Allow what? A list and there's our source. I'm going to highlight that right there. Click OK. So now we can select whichever one we want. Now let's do our sum ifs and I'll show you. This is a function in 2007 and 10 equals sum ifs. Sum range is going to be our sales, control shift down arrow F4, comma the, con the criteria range number one. Well, let's do sales rep first. No field name, just the sales rep range, control shift down arrow F4, comma, and our criteria will be relative cell reference, one to the left, comma. Our criteria range two is going to be product, control shift down arrow F4, comma, and then um, I can't see that cell right there, so I'm going to click there and use my down arrow. And then I need to lock this going down, because we have to use that one in each one. So close parentheses, control enter, and I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for currency, control shift 4. Now let's go ahead and try it, sunshine, and then update. So that is our dynamic chart. control asterisk to highlight all that. Actually, I'm going to add that to that border here. And let's do the default chart. Alt F1. And that, that keyboard shortcut only works in 2007 and 10. All right, and then uh, delete that. Delete that. Delete that. I'm going to click right there. Control 1. 
fill, vary colors by point, right click, add data label. So there we have it, our little dynamic chart. You know what? It would probably be nice to know what, um, uh, have a label because it doesn't say, whoop, whoop, it doesn't say what product this is anywhere. Well, we'll do a dynamic label. I'm going to pull this off to the side. Really, I'll, so I'll do it right here. I'll type label, and then here will be our label uh, equals, in quotes, sales. If only I could type space and double quote ampersand. Actually, why don't we do sales for space, double quote ampersand, and then sunshine. So right, if we change this, right, so that label will change. Then you click on the label, F2. That jumps your cursor up to the formula bar equals, and then click on our label. So now we have a dynamic point to the edge and hold shift and drag down. That's probably a little bit too small. I'm trying to fit it on my screen here. Boop. I guess that's not going to work. I'll just have to do this. Okay, so now you can see if we change this to Yanaki, this complete the formulas update, right? And since the chart is linked not only to the uh, label formula but the data formula, it updates. So that's how to do a dynamic chart with SUMIF and a label. Come back, we have a bunch of other dynamic chart tricks. See you next trick.